Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Tudor Heritage Black Bay with matte blue bezel. You can see and you can purchase this stainless steel timepiece on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Tudor Heritage Black Bay Blue, as it's nicknamed. Now the watch on my wrist is easy to wear, chunkier than its equivalent in the Rolex dive watch family. Nevertheless, it's a compact 41 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the oversized vintage style crown. Now when I say it's chunky, I really mean that in profile. 15 millimeters thick, you can see that despite the fact that it is a little bit chunkier than a Submariner by about two and a half millimeters, it does have a generously domed sapphire and a conical bezel, so it will slip underneath most cuffs, including sport jackets, blazers, and loose sweaters. Now, from lug to lug, the watch wears true. That is to say, there's no bracelet with solid end links projecting beyond, so it's 50 millimeters across the wrist, meaning this watch, in my estimation, can be worn on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference with security and a decent appearance of proportion. Once again, my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is attached to a high quality navy blue calfskin with a matching navy blue stitch. You can see it has a natural grained surface. You can see it also has sheer cut edges and on the underside a very comfortable suede texture that's a true surprise and a pleasure on a utility class timepiece. Now the watch does come with an accessory textile strap that you can use for aquatic activities in conjunction with the clamshell closure single fold deploying clasp in steel. So the watch is 41 millimeters in steel, a little bit chunky from top to bottom and reasonably compact across the wrist. The form of the case is simple but it's well chosen. As you can see, satin finish on the hoods of the lugs, polish on the case flank and a nod to both Tudor and Rolex history in the tapered polished bevel on the shoulder of the lugs. The bezel is a anodized blue bezel in steel with a luminescent pearl, unidirectional in dive style. It gives the watch both its character and its nomenclature. This is the matte blue per Tudor. You can see the luminescent pearl, line it up with the minute hand. Now you have an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I find this considerably more useful than a chronograph for most timing applications. It's easy to read at a glance and you don't need to be a diver to take advantage of it. The dial is richly appointed with applied indices, so it feels more like a contemporary Rolex in terms of quality and specification than the vintage Tudor big crown dive watches like the 7924 to which the overall design pays reference and deference. There's a little bit of a snowflake or, or Tudor snowflake from the late 60s to mid 70s evident in the form of the hour hand, but for the most part, this is a watch in design and character that recalls the 1950s and early 60s. Now you'll note that it is chronometer rated and that's your cue that this is the in-house caliber. So first note the quirkiness of having the later Tudor Shield and the earlier Tudor Rose logos on the same watch, a characteristic of all the Black Bay models. But underneath that case back you're getting Tudor MT, you ready for this? 5602, 70 hour power reserve, smooth bi-directional automatic winding COSC Swiss chronometer with hacking or stop seconds, 200 meters water resistance. It's also anti-magnetic thanks to a silicon hairspring. You get an awful lot of real watchmaking interest in this watch. So you have a handsome vintage inspired aesthetic that's versatile and wears well with anything with a manufacture movement that you won't find in anything else, although it is true that this movement is now being shared as a sort of hand-me-down to Breitling for the Super Ocean Heritage 2s. But make no mistake, it is a Tudor movement. This is a timepiece that's easy to wear, handsome, a little bit quirky with the splash of color, vintage inspired and well executed such that most of these cues, having already aged well since the 50s and 60s, they're destined to stand the test of time, and that may be the ultimate definition of value. See and own this one on our website.